Hi, I'm Dr. Sanchez, and I'd like to talk with you about your colon preparation. This is the most important part of the procedure, and you perform this part of the procedure at home. It's important that we have a good bowel preparation because if we don't have good views, we may have to repeat the procedure. Don't worry about taking any notes. My nurse is going to give you a detailed handout about everything you need to know. If you follow the instructions to the best of your ability, we're going to have a great procedure. If you take Coumadin or Plavix, you should be off these medications for five days prior to your procedure. And if you take Pradaxa or Eliquis, Effient, Xarelto, or Berlinta, you should stop these three days before your procedure. Two days before your prep begins, remember to drink an increased amount of water to stay hydrated. And when you wake up the day before your procedure, you should not eat anything solid until the exam is complete. The day of your prep, remember to continue to hydrate throughout the day and don't eat anything solid until your exam is complete. A clear liquid diet includes water, Gatorade or sports drinks, Pedialyte, clear broths like chicken or beef broth, tea, coffee without liquid creamer, sugar soda such as 7-Up or ginger ale, Kool-Aid, juices without pulp, Jello, popsicles, and hard candy. During the clear liquid diet, no alcohol is permitted. Neither is red, purple, or orange products, including Kool-Aid and sports drinks. Avoid milk and non-dairy creamers, noodles or vegetables in broth or soup, juices with pulp, or anything you cannot see through. Take two Dulcolax tablets at 12 o'clock or noon. At 4 p.m., begin drinking the mixture 8 ounces every 15 minutes until half the solution is gone. You may continue to drink clear liquids during this time. Place the remaining half back in the refrigerator. My nurse will tell you when to take the remaining PrEP solution. There is no reason to have any PrEP left over before the procedure. Even if you think your stool is clear enough, continue drinking the PrEP as instructed. Once you started drinking the PrEP solution, stay near a toilet. Abdominal discomfort is normal. Irritation and inflammation may occur and can be treated with over-the-counter remedies such as baby wipes and hydrocortisone creams. You can also use your hemorrhoidal prescriptions. Avoid products containing alcohol and avoid using suppositories. The day of your colonoscopy, you may need to take the second dose of your bowel prep prior to coming to the office for your procedure. Please make sure you clarify with my nurse when your second dose is due. If you do need to take the second dose this morning, make sure you complete it three hours prior to your arrival time. Remember, you must drink all the preparation to ensure that your colon is clean enough for the procedure to be completed. If you follow the instructions we've given you, your stool should be loose and yellow or clear in color. Remember, on the day of your procedure, bring a driver with you because we'll be giving you sedating medicines during your procedure. This is a total team effort. If you follow the instructions we've given you, it helps me do a better job in taking care of you on the day of your procedure. Hey, how are you doing?